on river cruises, very, yeah, I suppose middle class, uh, people who like a bit of culture and interested, you know, in Europe's history, if that's where you're cruising. A river cruise, apart from any drinks you might buy in the bar, is generally all inclusive. So your tips are included, your drinks with meals are included, all your excursions are included, uh, you get the services of a cruise director who sort of holds you by the hand and walks you through the whole experience. They are fully escorted. You will be met at the airport. In some cases, because of people arriving on different flights at different times, they may take you to a centrally located four-star hotel. Then when everybody's arrived, you'll all get onto coaches and you'll be taken to the ship. At the end of the cruise, um, they tend to be smaller vehicles, uh, like people carriers, because of people going off at different times. They don't rush you off a river cruise ship straight after breakfast in the morning. They will put your transfer in place to fit with your flights. So if you're not flying till late afternoon, early evening, you'll stay on board, you can have some lunch, and then you'll be taken to the airport at an appropriate time. Entertainment on river cruise ships is low key. You'll have local entertainers come on board. To be honest, you'll have had such a busy day. Uh, you probably won't want to do a lot in the evening. There's no theatres on board or anything like that. Entertainment is in the lounge. You will have a guy who will have a keyboard. You might have a bit of karaoke. You might have a bit of disco music, you know. River cruise ships have three decks with cabins on. Riverview cabins are on the lowest deck and you get two small windows which are higher up in the wall because you are sort of at water level. Uh, that's fine, I've stayed in one of those. Then your French balconies on the middle and upper deck, they are a sliding glass door with a barrier across so you can't step onto a balcony, you can just slide the windows open. And then some ships do have the in and out balconies as they're called. So one side of the balcony is just a sliding glass door and then the other side you, it comes back into the room so you can actually sit out on the balcony. It, you don't have to pay them, they're entirely at your discretion. So they're not expected but if you want to leave a tip in the cabin or give the cruise director a tip that's fine your choice. Right, comfortable and casual um, for the daytime, good pair of walking boots or sandals um, because you're going to be out and about doing your excursions and there's quite a bit of walking involved. In the evening, nothing more than evening casual. There'll be a captain's gala welcome dinner and a farewell dinner but you don't need to dress up for those, it's uh, very low key. The meal times are fixed because of accommodating the excursions. Um, seating is open, so breakfast will basically be between something like seven o'clock and half eight, so you can turn up within that time. Uh, lunch will be between say 12 and 1 and then dinner in the evening is usually at about 7 o'clock. Uh, the tours are excellent. Um, some of them you will start off on a coach and they will drive you around the local area so you get a good panoramic view of it and then you will have the option then of doing the walking tour or for those who aren't so mobile or don't want to at that point the coach will take you back to the ship um, the rest of you will do a walking tour with a local guide and they're absolutely excellent um, and then I suppose it lasts about an hour and a half and you will end up back at the ship They're all excellent value because so much is included 
uh, when you book a river cruise, I mean, as I say, apart from drinks on board, you're really not going to spend any extra. Just a point of interest, Viking will sell you a drinks package. Uh, I think it's 125 euros for a seven night cruise. So if you do like a tipple in the bar, all that will be covered as well. Um, Riviera Travel, which is a UK owned and run river cruise line, they don't include drinks, but then when you look at the cost of a Riviera Travel cruise, as opposed to Viking, Avalon or APT, you will see quite a drastic difference in the price. Um, and that is because they don't include the drinks. Thank you for watching. I hope I've helped to answer some of your questions about river cruising, giving you a bit of an insight into it. If there is more that you'd like to know, then please give me a ring and I'll be more than happy to chat with you.